Hey guys, it's Diego and Alicia, and today we're going to Taipei, Taiwan. Taipei is the capital and largest metropolitan area in Taiwan. It's a modern metropolis with Japanese colonial lanes, busy shopping streets, and contemporary buildings. The skyline of Taipei is crowned by the tall bamboo-shaped Taipei 101 skyscraper. It stands at 508 meters or 1600 feet and it takes a mere 40 seconds to get from the ground level to the 89th floor observation deck. The Taipei 101 was officially classified as the world's tallest from its opening in 2004 until 2010 when the Burj Khalifa in Dubai was completed. After conquering the Taipei 101, we treated ourselves to some Taiwanese ice cream and it was the perfect way to end this experience. Don't forget to explore this whole building. The first five floors are taken up by one of Taipei's swankiest malls. And also they have an amazing food court. Ding Tai Fun was founded in 1972. This restaurant has become an international phenomenon for their Taiwanese soup dumplings. After visiting the observatory of Taipei 101, this place is a must stop. Make sure you guys come hungry and with plenty of patience. The average wait time for a table is between 45 minutes to over an hour. The greatest part about Taipei is that you can find a night market in every corner of the city. What's up guys, so we made it to Ningjia Night Market in Taipei on our first day. We are super excited to explore, we heard so many great things and we cannot wait. What do you think? I'm a little sleepy but we're gonna check it out anyway. Let's and do we're it. we're a little hungry so let's go. So we're tired, we're hungry, but we are definitely adventurous so let's do it. Although we were exhausted from the day of traveling and sightseeing, we were eager to check out the night market scene in Taipei. Ningxia, one of Taipei's smaller night markets, happened to be around the corner from our hotel. This market may be small, but it definitely didn't disappoint with the variety of Taiwanese delicacies. We definitely suggest the buddy system when coming to these markets so you can hit up as many stands as possible and enjoy all the food. Okay, so we're in Ningjia Market and we stopped at this shop that has um, like stir-fry noodles, chicken or beef. So we got this stir-fry noodle with veggies and chicken. And then we got this little contraption here, which is fucking delicious. It's noodles, stir-fry noodles, but wrapped in a layer of egg and then a layer of like, this thin flat pancake. I'm not sure what it's called. We'll have to find out later, but it's delicious. So definitely when you're in Taiwan, come to the Ningjia Mai Market and get this. So we finally made it back to the hotel from our day one experience in Taiwan. It's been such an amazing day. Tell them what you think. Okay, so we got in super, super early after having gotten no sleep yesterday, having gone straight through to Mount Fuji, hopping on a flight at 5 a.m. and arriving here around 7.30 in the morning. Hung out, got to our hotel, 
dropped off our suitcases and immediately went to our first point, which was... We went to the Taipei 101, one of the tallest buildings here in Taiwan. And it was such a great experience going all the way up, seeing the observatory, seeing the whole city. It was such a beautiful sight. It was such a great way to start off our trip in oh, a yeah. city that we don't know too much about, but we're really excited to learn more and more. Uh, we came back, took a little nap because what a whirlwind uh, adventure we've been on. And when we woke up at 11.30, we decided we are gonna go to one of Taiwan's most famous points of interest, which is the night markets. So we went to the Ningzhu, and we are so sorry because we are butchering all of the names, but we went to the Ningzhu night market where they were lined with street vendors with delicious seafood, stir fries, veggies, fruit, juices, and my favorite, which was a sausage corn dog and it's not like the one we have in new york because those are eh. no. these are like panko crusted corn dogs with oh, yeah. light sugar sprinkled on it and they have this sweet mustard and sweet ketchup oh my god you guys it is so good it You're has made our whole trip i know oh. making me hungry What's up guys, this is day two of our trip in Taiwan and we're continuing to explore. We're on our way right now to find some traditional Taiwanese breakfast and we cannot wait to eat some more. everyone we have our first full morning in Taipei Taiwan and one of the things that we were definitely told to try is a traditional Taiwanese breakfast so we are at one of the top five uh, called Ding Wang soy milk most breakfast places in Taipei have some version of soy milk in their name and they have different types of traditional pancake type breakfasts and pastries and we're gonna go see what it's all about and check it out so catch us soon while we wait on that pretty ridiculous line but we'll see if it's worth it and let you know talk to you later for under five dollars we ordered pretty much half the menu we started with taiwan's traditional fried dough that comes with either hot or cold soy milk the next dish we enjoyed was a sesame homemade bun with eggs and scallion. And of course, a meal wouldn't be complete in Taiwan without finishing off with some Taiwanese soup dumplings. Delish. Take some time to visit the Songsheng Cultural and Creative Park. It was once a tobacco factory in 1937 that closed down in 98. In 2001, the Taipei city government turned it into the 99th historic site. It's a creative hub where you can peruse the local artist work as well as enjoy a good local beer and some local cuisine at some of the food shops. Tea houses are a long-standing tradition of Taiwan. Through the recommendation of a close family friend, we went to Wisteria's Tea House in Taipei. For most Americans, brewing tea is about boiling a pot of water and pouring it over a Tetley tea bag. But in Taiwan, brewing tea is an art. This cute little place had been repurposed from an old Japanese home and transformed into this beautiful tea house. It was a nice place to just sit and take in all the history that had taken place. So what's up guys? We stumbled upon Mysteria Tea in Taiwan. It was such an amazing spot. 
I didn't even know there were so many intricacies in drinking tea, but I learned a lot and it was a great spot to work and definitely worth checking it out if you're in Taiwan. And let's see what's going next. So we've been walking around Taiwan all day. We made it to Rao Market. We cannot wait to see what they have here. Let's check it out. The Rahu Street Night Market is one of the oldest night markets in Taipei. This night market is located in the Songshang District. It is considered to be the epitome of a traditional Taiwanese night market. There's over 40 vendors and they all have amazing local and delicious food. Make sure you bring plenty of cash and come hungry because you're going to want to hit up every single one of these bad boys. In between tasting as much food as we possibly could, we stopped at some of the local vendors where we bought a ridiculously cheap pair of jeans and some shoes. I think we spent maybe less than 20 US dollars total. The next place we visited was the Fuhan Soy Milk, where they make traditional Taiwanese breakfast. Be prepared to wait anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. However, the food is not going to disappoint, we promise. The seating area is food court style, so if you're traveling with others, make sure one of your party members finds a table. The Fuhan Soy Milk is famously known for their deep fried dough stick, freshly roasted buns, egg sandwiches, and soy milk. Taipei has the largest metro subway system in Taiwan. The MRT serves about 2 million riders daily. The greatest thing about this is it's fast, convenient, and so clean. Probably the cleanest subway that Diego and I have ever been on. Zhou Fen is a former gold mining town located an hour away from Taipei. It's a narrow night market lined up with small food stalls, tea houses, souvenir shops, and pottery stores. It's jam-packed with people but just go with the floor and explore many shops that catch your eyes. You can dine in at one of the many delicious restaurants or pick up some snacks along the way at some of the street vendors. Of course, Diego and I had to make our stop at the soup dumpling spot. If you're looking to pick up some souvenirs, this is definitely the place to do it. There are so many different shops with so much of a selection. You will definitely be able to find your own little piece of Taiwan to bring home. Zhou Fen is internationally known as the Santorini of Taiwan. And one look at that coastline, you'll know exactly how it got its name. Alicia, being the coffee lover she is, found a cute little spot called Babka. Here, they take brewing coffee to a scientific perfection in what can only be described as a coffee laboratory. It felt more like an episode of Breaking Bad instead of a Starbucks run. After trekking up and down the mountain, Alicia got her coffee fix and she was delighted.
In the evening, the traditional red lanterns illuminate the street, providing for a romantic and whimsical experience. Next, we take you to Yangkang Street. It's a food mecca of Taiwan, and when you go there, you have to try this noodle shop. You won't be able to miss it. Look for the woman sitting on a short stool at the entrance of the shop, preparing the bowls of rice and homemade noodle soup. Although they're famous for their homemade noodle soup, you must try a variety of their other, what you could only describe as Taiwanese tapas. After having a wonderful meal, make sure you leave room for Taiwan's mango shaped ice. After visiting all the night markets and tasting all the delicious food, we urge you to check out the National Palace Museum, a truly historical site. The last market we visited was the Shilling Night Market. We were told that it was the most popular point of Taipei's nightlife among visitors. It consists of two major elements, general merchandise and local cuisine. Many of Taiwan's traditional foods can be found and bought for reasonable prices from the friendly locals who are eager to let you taste the unique flavors of their traditional recipes. The last part of our trip in Taipei was visiting the Shi Mengding district. It is a place to be for local nightlife and high-end fashion. It's full of clubs, bars, and local shops. Thanks for watching our video guys. If you enjoyed it, hit like and subscribe. See you next time.